the last video was about dip netting in Chitna on the Copper River. We went down there for four days, but we didn't dip net the whole time. We also took our time and went to Valdez. We're at the Worthington Glacier on the way to Valdez. This is a stop we usually do every time we come here. And it's kind of scary to see how the glacier is going back. There is a glacier, that's the glacier. There is the glacier. interesting when we come here when we came here last summer and we came here twice last summer once with my brother and once with Marcus mm -hmm. and family there were way 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 more RVs mm -hmm. probably the rental RVs Valdez itself is not at its original spot. Um, you may have heard about the Good Friday earthquake in 1964 that destroyed big parts of Anchorage and um, the earthquake and the following tsunami destroyed a lot of towns on the Alaska coast. And that's also true for Valdez. We went to the old original town site of Valdez, which is still there. And you can go there and look at some displays and see which houses were there, how it looked like after the earthquake, and uh, where the roads were. You can walk or drive and learn a little bit about yeah, how Valdez looked before 1964.
being in downtown Valdez, it's kind of, it was kind of weird. We go there almost every year, mainly when we have guests visiting us who want to go to the Prince William Sound and go on a glacier and wildlife like whale watching tour and we join them. Right now the salmon fishing season didn't start there yet, the salmon are not there yet and also our tourist season is kind of weird with not that many tourists from other states than Alaska coming up here. The little coastal, very usually very colorful and busy little coastal town of Valdez to me almost seemed empty. The tour ships that go into Prince William Sound are there in the harbor and not operating. One thing you can do while being down there is you can also go to the Valdez Glacier. There is a recreation area from where you can see the glacier lake with the little icebergs floating in the glacier lake. But if you have kayaks or canoe or some kind of other vessel, <laughs> you can go actually on the glacier lake and you can paddle your way to the Valdez Glacier. And that's a really, really cool thing to do. Yes, you are touching it. Finally. Yeah, so that was our trip to Valdez. And I, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. And well, see you soon. See you next week. We hope so. Stay healthy, stay safe and bye!